Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. Um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. And it's important to know that synthetic division can only be used when there is a first degree x in the denominator. That means that there is a one exponent um, above the x in the denominator. Um, that is the only case in which synthetic division can be used, um, so it's important to know that. Um, so let's just get started with this example. And step number one, uh, I have written for you on the left in the green. It says place the coefficients in descending order. Um, so notice how we have a x cubed uh, and we have a x and then we have an 8 constants. Um, you have to place the coefficients in descending order. So our greatest uh, power is a 3 or our greatest exponent um, is a 3 and the coefficient in front of that x cubed is a 1. Okay. Um, so since uh, there is a coefficient of 1 in front of the x cubed um, I'm going to put a 1 inside the box. Um, notice how we get skipped from an x cubed to an x and there is no x squared term. Because there is no x squared terms or 0 x squared terms, I'm going to put a 0 as my next coefficient. Okay. Uh, notice the coefficient in front of the next highest term, which is our x, is negative 11. So I'm going to put a negative 11. And finally, our last coefficient is positive 8. So now what we want to do on the outside is place the opposite number in the denominator. Um, so notice how we have a negative 3 in the denominator. Um, so on the outside, we want to place a positive 3. So moving right along, uh, now we can get started with our synthetic division. And our first step with synthetic division is you want to just bring down the first number which is 1 so we just want to bring that number down and write it below the line. So our next step is that we want to multiply this 3 by the 1 and then we want to place it below the 0. So 3 times 1 is 3 so we want to place a 3 below the 0. Now we need to add the numbers in the second column. So we have a 0 and a 3, so 0 plus 3 gives you a positive 3. And now we need to repeat this process all over again. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to multiply this positive 3 with this 3 and we want to place it right below the 11. I'm sorry, negative 11. So positive 3 times positive 3 gives you positive 9. And now we need to add the numbers in the third column. We have a negative 11 and a positive 9. Negative 11 plus 9 gives us negative 2. And now we just need to repeat the process just one last time. Uh, now we need to multiply this 3 by the negative 2 and we need to place it right below the 8, the eight. so positive 3 times negative 2 will give you a negative 6 and if we add the numbers in the last column we have the positive 8 minus a 6 gives us positive 2 so this last number after you're done with the synthetic division that I'm going to circle in red is your remainder. It's always going to be your remainder. So your final answer always starts one degree less than in your numerator. Uh, so since we have a highest degree of three in our numerator, since we have a three exponent is our largest, um, our answer is going to start one degree less, so it's going to start with a degree of 2. Okay, and the coefficient that goes in front of the x squared term is the first coefficient in our synthetic division. So since our first uh, coefficient is a 1, a 1 goes before the x squared term. Our next term is an x, and since our next term coefficient in our synthetic division is a 3, we have a coefficient of 3 
in front of the x. Since our next coefficient is a negative 2, then our next coefficient is minus 2. And finally, we have our remainder. And since we have a remainder of 2, you always put that in the numerator of a fraction. And you always put what you're dividing by. Since we're dividing by an x minus 3, you put that in the denominator. And this is our final answer. So I hope this video helped you understand synthetic division a little bit better. Um, if you need any extra help with uh, live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com. Also, if you like the way I teach and you like seeing my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching my video, and take care.